Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and today I will show you how you can start an automation with Salesforce Lightning Platform Connector from UiPath Go. So first, we need a Salesforce instance to make tests and develop on this instance. To be able to get this instance, I will go to developersalesforce.com. I will create an account on developersalesforce.com. You will go like this and you will create an account. You will put, you will fill up all the data. And after you create this account, you will receive an email like this. So you have your account. Then you will go and log in on your account. And after you log in on the account, on login.salesforce.com, you will enter on this Salesforce system. On the Salesforce system, first you go to the settings. And on the settings, you need to go to reset my security token. So you click this uh, button and after you click this button, you will receive an email with a security token. You need to gather all this information. So you will create a file where you have the username, the password, the token. And you will see that we need also consumer key and secret. So let me copy this uh, part and let's go back to Salesforce. And on Salesforce here, I will go to settings, to setup, yeah? So this will open a new page. And on this setup, I need to create an, I need to take a look on application manager. Application manager, and on application manager, we will create a connection for the, um, for our software to be able to work via REST API with the Salesforce system. So you'll go here and say new connect. And you'll fill up the data, the name of the, um, uh, the API and so on. Here you need to enable the O2 authentication. Here on the all back, uh, on the callback, you will put HTTP localhost A0A0. And you will provide the full access for this. Yeah? After you save it, the system will say that, okay, this will be available in 10, uh, two to 10 minutes. So for us, we need to put a valid contact email. So after I correctly save it, I will get a consumer key and a consumer secret. So I will copy these two data to my file. So I'll copy it to my file and I then will go further. What means go further? I have to go to manage. And on the manage, I need to go and edit the policy. On edit policy, I need to be sure that all users may use, uh, may self-authorize. And here, I need to select the, in my case, the relax IP restriction. Yeah. After I do all these steps, I have all the data inside of my file. Let's see my file. After I have all the data on my file here, I will go to next step and I want to use UiPath Studio. So, let's say that I don't have UiPath Studio. I will go to uiPath.com, I will say start trial, and then I will say choose community and I will download and install the community edition of UiPath. After I do this, I will go and start UiPath Studio. So I will start UiPath Studio. And after I start UiPath Studio, I will create a first project in UiPath Studio. So I'll create a process. Let's say test sales like this. And the system will create a new project for me. Now, to be able to use the Salesforce component, I will go here on the dependencies. I will say manage and I will write here on the all packages. The new app studio also has the goal link inside. I will write Salesforce. So here you will see that you have a connector for UAP team, Salesforce Lining Platform. There is one also for Marketing Cloud, but today we'll talk about this one. I will select this connector and I will hit install and save. The system will add for me inside of my project, the Salesforce connector. So if I go to the UAPath team, Salesforce Lightning Platform, 
I have around 100 activities that allow me to control Salesforce. But the first thing that you have to do is to add a Salesforce application scope. And on this Salesforce application scope, we will put our data from our file. Let's see. After I complete all the data here on the authentication design, I have to go to select the server type to be live. Yeah. So if after I select this one and I have the design and test as an environment, I will hit test connection button and see that I have a valid connection. And now I can start my automation and drag and drop different activities here inside of the Salesforce application scope and do the automation. So that's all for today. And uh, before we leave, remember this uh, YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you have around 35 videos with different examples on how to do Salesforce and ServiceNow automation. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good one.